Hello everybody, Ninja here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your video card into MSI mode. I won't go into what that means, but if you Google it or watch a video, someone, um, there's plenty out there that explain what the difference of MSI mode and your basic legacy mode. Um, most video cards that are recent, like your RTX series, you know, 2000 or 3000 should already be defaulted to MSI mode. Older cards like your 10 series or older is legacy uh, amd i can't remember when they started with defaults but again this is how you can tell if your car is already in a, a msi mode already so what you got to do right click on your start button hit device manager box pops up go to view go to resources by type go to irq drop it down and then look for pci and look for your video card Here's mine. If this number is negative, it's already in MSI mode. If it is positive, it is legacy mode. If your video card is in MSI or is in legacy mode, then continue watching. Um, so what you want to do, right click on your video card, then select properties, select details, go to this box and select device interface path. This is what you need to know where to go in your registry. If you put something in your registry that doesn't belong, whether it be a, you know, you type something or delete something, Windows won't like it, you'll have a bad time. So I'm not liable if you break anything. So to continue on, uh, hold down your Windows key, then hit R, type in reg edit, hit yes in the box that pops up. Um, I already have this thing here. Um, just to kind of, you know, show you what the tree will look like as you um, get this far. So what you want to do is go to HK local machine, go to system, go to current control set, go to enum, look for PCI folder and list, compare what you have here in the box to your keys that's going to be in whatever list this is. Uh, mine just happened to be the third uh, one down uh, and then you go down to the sub key for that just make sure you match whatever this is in your registry to, to edit this once you go for get further into it select the sub key below which is this one because that's what is matching here select device parameters little arrow then arrow again on interrupt management and then make sure if this folder is already made then all you have to do is verify if MSI supported is already in here. If it's not one, you can set it to one. And that's just by right clicking, or you can double click on it to, to modify it, make sure, and then set it to one, hit okay. And that's how you would turn on MSI mode. If it's not there, uh, you then would have to create this folder um, so you can edit this. Um, but if you have to input this key already, then you right click, you hit new, go to D word value, 32 bit. You would need to name it this exactly. Capital M, capital S, capital I, capital S. And then the rest is lowercase. And then again, you would um, make the value uh, one, and then you would close out your registry. You can restart the computer. Um, and that uh, should work. Uh, again, if you break something, like putting something in the wrong place, naming it something else, uh, it's not on me if you break it. That's all I really got to say. Um, I have almost broken things before because I may be going too fast myself and put something in the wrong place and I catch myself before I restart my machine and have to fix it. Anyways, that's how you would do this manually. There is another way to do it, which is automatically, and that's just using a, a utility to do it. So if you don't want to go through all this, uh, you can just hit X. Um, you know, don't actually get this far at all. If you don't want, you could just use a utility. And this right here is the utility. Um, can't remember where I got this one from, but I can look for a link somewhere that someone has it somewhere as a zip file or something like that. But anyways, once you get this utility, um, you right click on it, you want to hit run as admin, hit yes on the box that shows up. 
you look at this little box here you want to find the line of which your video card is in and then you want to make sure that this box is checked for your card and for msi that's how you do it automatically this program or utility will put that in the right place as you can tell there is a thing that i was talking about earlier um then you can always restart computer and that should work i didn't make this utility uh so it's not on me if that breaks your machine either so just be cautious on on what you do whether you're editing it manually or using a, a, a tool like this to do it but if you have any questions i'll try to answer them in the comment section um try to make the video short so hopefully you like it um i try to put up some more videos on how to do certain things eventually i'll have time to actually finish uh how last two but again hope you enjoy this video you guys enjoy see ya